Here at Power Start Japan, we're celebrating Games of 2023. I know what you're saying, it's 2024, you losers. But in actuality, in order to play every single game of 2023, you'd have to wait for 2023 to be over, right? That's exactly what we did, and in line with the old magazines and gaming sites that you used to love, we're going to announce our Game of the Year of 2023 in February of 2024. So sit back and relax as we release a new video every day, all culminating in the final Game of the Year of 2023. 2023 was a solid year for remakes. We got some really good ones and it opened up a lot of questions. What defines a remake? What's a remaster? Mario RPG managed to bring back the fun and quirkiness of 90s Mario into the modern day. Ark Survival Ascended took a massive adventure where you can do just about anything and managed to make it even better. But for us, it just had to be Resident Evil 4. While some may argue that this game lacks the soul of the original, we vehemently disagree. While the original game remains a timeless classic, Resident Evil 4 Remake brings improvements in the obvious areas like graphics and controls to the more subtle like storytelling and characterization. We'll be hard pressed to find people who like the old Ashley or even Luis more than the new ones. Sure, Krauser seems a bit more off his rail, but doesn't it fit in line with the character? And it seems like hopefully Capcom has learned their lesson with remaking games because this game has plenty of bang for your buck with a meaty single player story mode and one of the best DLC releases of all time. And who could forget the mercenaries? Recently I've personally said that if you're a total beginner coming into the franchise, Resident Evil 2 Remake would be the place to start. I still think that title is fantastic, but RE4 has now taken over that mantle. It's an essential title for any gamer, and it's our best remake of the year.